Hello and welcome back to the channel on our continuing voyage to become better blues players. My name's Mark and this lesson is going to focus on improvising in box position 3 of the A minor pentatonic scale. So this is the latest in a series of uh, lessons around blues improvisation. The beginner section to this, uh, to, to this series was called Learn to Improvise Blues. And now we're up to the intermediate section. The intermediate section is called Improve Your Improvisation. And this is the third lesson in that intermediate series. So in uh, the beginner section in the Learn to Impl Improvise Blues, we looked at box position one and box position two of the A minor pentatonic scale. So I'm not gonna go over them in detail, but just to remind you, we are A minor pentatonic box position one would be here. And then box position two, we, uh, we slid up into here. And now we're in box position three, which is actually here. Okay, and I'll go through all the notes in a moment, but you can see what we're doing is we're basically building our way along the neck. Box position one, tuck in kind of frets five to seven, or well, five to eight really, I guess. Uh, box position two was kind of between eight and 10, and now we're getting up between frets 10 and 13. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual notes now. So, uh, We'll start um, at fret, where are we? Fret 9 of the G string, and we'll go 9 to 12 on the G string. And then we'll go 10 to 13 on the B. And then we're going to go 10 to 12 on the top E. Okay, so as I say, not teaching the whole box, just the bit that is the bit that everybody uses the most, which is the uh, the top three strings. Okay, and um, first thing you should do is learn those notes and uh, be able to play them, get familiar with where they are on the neck, get them feeling nice under your fingers so you know where they are. Important thing, as we've done throughout this series, is learn where our root notes are. So our root note here is 10 on the B string. So if you ever want to find box position three nice and easy, you just find your root note on the B string and play with your index finger. Okay, so one other thing that you're probably going to want to do is move between the boxes. I find the easiest way to move between them is, uh, there's, there's two things really, I will, but the one I use the most is I will slide um, between box position two and box position three by sliding up using my ring finger, 10th fret sliding up to the 12th fret of the uh, of the top E string. So I'll, I'll play this for you nice and slow now. I'm going to play basically box position 2 and then slide up into box position 3 using this slide on the top E string. Okay, so that little slide, that's similar to the slide that we can do to get between box um, one and two on the G string. We can do a similar thing uh, on the top E. Okay, some other things to note about this. Oh, oh actually, sometimes I'll actually just slide index finger from the eighth to the tenth as well. So I might do something like this. Anyway, something like that. You get the idea, I'm jumping between box position two and box position three. Um, once you get that under your fingers and you can see that, I hope that kind of becomes clear. Um, a few other things to point out with this box position is the 10th fret of the top E string is uh, a D note. So that's, that's the note that's useful when you go to your four chord. So that's there. 12th fret is the E chord, uh, with the, the E note, which you play under the E chord. So in one of the improvisation lessons in the beginner series, we talked about playing the root notes of the underlying chords and moving the root notes around with the chords. 
Do you remember that lesson? Well, here's where you can do that in box position three. Those are your three kind of important notes there. One thing that's peculiar about box position three is you end up playing the root note with your index finger here. Okay, so in our other two box positions, we ended up playing our root notes with our, uh, with our ring finger. So one here on the D string, one here on the B string. So we do that kind of thing. With box position three, our root note is now on our index finger. But one thing that's interesting about this is that we you can use our ring finger, 13th fret of the B string, which is the flat third, and do some nice kind of dirty bends on that to come off to the root. Okay, and we can also do it 12th fret of the G string, some dirty bends to come off to um, the root note, 12th, uh, 10th fret of the B string. So you can get those kind of really dirty, nice blues uh, bends in there. Also, you can take the 13th fret, bend it up a whole tone, and you get your D note, which is nice when you go to the four chord. Uh, or you can take the, the 12th fret of the G string, bend that one up a whole tone, and you get your root note. Okay, so you can kind of see the, the root notes in there, so you can bend to it there. So you kind of got some nice little interesting moves around in box position uh, three. What I'll do now is I'm gonna show you two particular licks, and then I'm gonna drop those into an improvisation. Um, so when I'm gonna improvise using box one, two, and three, but I'm mainly gonna focus on box position three. Um, and there's two particular licks I'm gonna drop in, uh, and then we'll come back on the other side. I'll teach you those two two licks, and then set you uh, up so that you can um, uh, you, you can practice this as well. Backing tracks on the end of this track, uh, on the end of this video, as usual. Also, the backing track is a separate track on YouTube. Interesting thing for today is we're actually this is a minor blues now. Um, so we've talked in the previous lessons about the difference between the dominant blues and a minor blues. This is a minor blues, so we're in just a minor. Okay, so um, lick one uh, that I'm going to use is going to go like this. So you can see it's kind of, it's a nice lick to jump between box position two and box position three. And then this, the other lick I'm going to use quite a lot is this one. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I drop those in a couple of times during the improvisation. And I'll come back on the other side and teach you uh, those and set you the, the homework. Um, I will say, if you found these lessons valuable, then uh, please consider um, supporting the channel by leaving a tip in my PayPal uh, tip jar, or, can, or think about maybe becoming a, a Patreon supporter, supporting the channel through Patreon. Details for both those things are in the description below. So what I'll do now is I'll kick the back and track on, and uh, I'll improvise and I'll try and drop those licks in and try and focus around box position three, though I'm sure I will kind of jump between one and two as well. Okay? <laughs>
Anyway, something like that. I don't think that was one of my best improvisations I've ever done, but you get the idea. So I'm able to take in, kind of improvise all the way from fret 12 right up to fret 30 and kind of moving along those. And they're the kind of the, the good places to kind of improvise and notes to find. Okay, so I'll teach you the two licks now. So lick one goes like this. So I'm sliding into uh, fret nine. I'm, I'm not really thinking about where I'm sliding from. I'm probably sliding from fret seven, but I'm not worried too much about that. I'm more thinking about where I'm sliding to, which is fret nine. Then I'm playing eight to 10 on the B string, eight to 10 on the toppy. And then I'm hitting 10 again on the toppy and sliding up to 12 before coming back to 10. So you'll notice here, what I'm doing is I'm using that little slide to swap um, position. Because now I've got my index finger on the 10th fret, so that allows me to kind of, uh, I'm now in box position three really. Okay, and then I finish the lick by doing a kind of a bit of a dirty bend, 13th fret of the B string, off to 10. And ending my lick on the root note because as we've talked all the way through this uh, series, the root note is the note that sounds best, sounds most in tune, most natural, most comfortable to land on and spend um, you know, considerable amount of time on. So that's kind of why I end so many of the licks on the root note. Okay, so whole lick again, I'll do it nice and slow. Okay, and giving that note a little shake at the end. Okay, lick two then, uh, goes like this. Okay, I'll do it nice and slow. And we're starting with a pull off from 13 to 10 on the, on the B string. You can do this with ring finger to index finger or little finger to index finger, it's up to you. Okay, so we've done the pull off. Then what we're gonna do is gonna grab 12 on the G string, back to 10 on the B string. And then again, we're gonna do our little dirty bend on the um, 13th fret of the B string before coming off to our root note, 10th fret of the B string. Okay, nice and slow. And how much you give that, that little dirty bend, that's entirely up to you. How are you feeling at the time? What emotion you're feeling and all those kind of things, entirely up to you. That's what makes the blues so great. You can just kind of do those dirty things, how you're feeling at the time, which is why two blues performances are never identical because it just feels different in the moment. Okay, so those are our two licks. I'll, I, I will have put tab on screen for this. Um, if you want a copy of those licks, those two licks as PDF a tab, drop me an email again, details in the description below, and I'll send you uh, the, the PDF. Not for the whole improvisation, I'm not gonna tab the whole thing out, I mean, it was a bit ropey in places anyway, um, but just for those two licks. So what I'd like you to do now is I would like you to learn those two licks, learn box position three, and then improvise over the back and track try and drop those licks in, um, which is kind of following on from the last two lessons where we've been talking about dropping licks into improvisation. So drop those licks in, feel comfortable around box position three. Remember, root note, B string, uh, index finger, that's where your root note's gonna be, so that's a note you kind of wanna spend the most time on. Um, what else about this? Oh, I actually did a whole lesson of licks on in box position three, A minor box position three, over a 12 bar blues. I'll put a link again in the description below. Um, check that out if you want to basically learn a bunch more licks. I think there was, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, something like that, licks in box position three, played over a 12 bar blues. So if you wanna grab yourself some more licks in box position three, that's how to do it. So I'll leave you with the, um, with the back and track now. Homework is to play over the back and track, drop those licks in, play around in box position three and see how that goes. We'll come back next time when we're gonna be looking at adding in the blue note, that's the, uh, the flat five to box position one, two and three. 
and we're also going to go, come back to box position three because I'm going to show you where the major notes are around box position three that you can throw in as well. We looked at mix and major and minor as part of the beginner series of improvisation. So we're going to now do that right up here in box position three as well. Sometimes known as the BB box because it's where BB King liked to play. Um, and certainly once you get those major notes in, that'll be it. So I'll leave you at the back and track. Uh, enjoy your homework and I will see you in the next lesson.